everyone, so today I am doing a collective haul. I have some clothes, some accessories, and some homewares because I thought it'd be a cool, I don't know, like a cool idea to do something a little bit different because I haven't done this on my channel before and I love everything I got so I just wanted to show you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with some clothing and accessories and move on to the homewares at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry if it's really long. I'm going to try not to talk about each item for too long because I've got a lot of stuff to show you. First of all, if you're wondering about my makeup, I will have a tutorial soon on the eyes and on my lips I am wearing Prom Night by Jeffree Star. So all of the clothing and accessories are from White Fox Boutique which is a website I love and buy from all the time however this stuff here was sent to me for free so if you have a problem with that watch something else. And the best part about doing this video with White Fox Boutique is they have given me an amazing discount code for you guys. It is Shanexo20 and that gives you 20% off everything on the website but it does expire on the 30th of June so get in quick. By the way White Fox Boutique does ship worldwide because I know a lot of people will ask. Okay so the first thing I chose out were these amazing sunglasses. I already have these from White Fox, the, the White Fox Boutique in white. They're the Shea Mitchell Key Collection um, and I just love these. I feel like Squirtle when I wear these in a good way. I just think they're so edgy and like Lady Gaga-ish. I feel like you either love them or you hate them. There's like no in between and I love them. So I got those and I also got this amazing belt and I kind of forgot when it arrived that it was a belt and I was like, this is a really, really long necklace and then I was like, oh, duh, it's, it's a belt. But it's really, really cute. I'm loving silver at the moment. Don't know what's gotten into me. But I'm just all about the silver life, so this is adorable. Like, it looks so cute with play suits and everything. And then the other accessory I got um, are these boots from White Fox Boutique. These are the cutest things ever. I've been wanting a pair like this for so long. Um, I just got a size 7, I think. I don't know if this is, like, the proper name. They're the Lips Lipstick? Lipstick Jada shoes. I don't know. I'll figure it out and write them down below. I'll list as much as I can down below. I also got this top here that I'm wearing. I will try it on for you in the video. This is the cutest little chicest top ever. It's very low cut but it feels really secure like I don't feel like I'm gonna bounce out. And then the back is really low cut and it's quite boxy shaped and it just looks so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. I also got this really cute skirt. This is like a mini skirt. I'm kind of excited that these are back in style. <laughs> Denim mini skirt and it's just a really nice acid wash. It's got little pockets on the bum for a little bit of interest. And the best part is it's quite stretchy so I know it's just going to hug my curves beautifully. Next up I got a set and I feel like this is going to suit me really well as well because I do have you know, like boobs and bum and thighs and everything. So it's basically just a really stretchy set. Like this is the top and it kind of crosses over and it's very ruched. And then the skirt is the same. So it's really crossovery. So really, really nice. And I feel like it'll look nice with my body shape. So I'm so excited to wear this. And I feel like I could definitely get away with wearing this in winter as well. Like autumn winter, just because it's a really nice thick warm fabric. And you could lay with it so easily with some stockings and a jacket. Next, I could not help myself. Like when I saw this on the website, the color just screamed my name. This is my favorite color to wear, believe it or not, like the chartreuse greeny yellow color, I don't know how you would describe it. It's just so fun and I feel like it suits my skin tone and my hair color really well. So yeah, I just had to get it. It's a really cute little, I don't even know what these like necklines are called, but they're really, really flattering. And then it's got a low back, like, or backless back, backless, yep. And then just shorts, you know, it's just like a really nice kind of structured play suit. It looks really nice. Next, I got the perfect autumn winter jersey. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I got it in a size small medium. And it's basically just a really, really long like throw on cardigan. And I just love the color. It's that kind of salt and peppered gray. Next is another thing in that little like weird neckline. I don't know what this neckline's called, but it's really, really pretty. I love this neckline. I've got like so many items with it. Um, and then it's just got a ribbed kind of fabric, really nice and stretchy. And it's just a really nice kind of camel color. The color reminds me of Kim Kardashian. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and it's really nice as well because it's not cropped. I feel like every top I have in this style is cropped. Whereas this one goes right down to your like hips. You know. <laughs> Another Kim K color. This is a play suit. I've actually got this in khaki green as well. Um, but this one is in the kind of camel brown color. Really nice. It's really loose and flattering. And then it has like the cute little ruffles. And then the arms are just nice and like long. So quite good for like evening wear in autumn and winter. And you can chuck on a jersey on top. You know, it's obviously not going to keep you super warm. But it's a little bit more appropriate than wearing a spaghetti strap dress or something like that. By the way, if you're wondering what sizes I got and all this stuff. I got anywhere from like a 8 to a 10 depending on like the style. This particular jumper isn't an 8. It's quite oversized as well. 
Um, it's like a cow neck and then it's almost like a vest or a singlet and then it goes right down. The back is slightly longer. I just feel like this would be so cute for layering. I'm loving this trend at the moment. Like I remember this was in fashion when I was a kid and I hated it. Now that I'm a bit older, I feel like it's actually quite cool. I don't know, it's almost like a scarf and a top in one. <laughs> this next top is super, super cute and it is a crop top. So I feel like it would be better for spring and everything, except I'm gonna wear it in autumn and winter because I'll just layer. Um, but it's just a crop and then it has short little sleeves and then a high neckline and I love high necklines. I think they look really, really sophisticated and nice in winter. I just love them. I don't know. And then another little high neckline top, a gray one this time. And it's got nice big armholes so it's quite flattering on the chest area. And then it's got that nice stretchy ribbed fabric again. I'm just loving tops like this. So easy to chuck on and they just look really pretty. Chuck on a necklace, you know. Another high neckline gray object except this one is a dress and it is so Cute. It's just a high neckline, it's got those nice arm cutouts again, and then it has a little crossover around your like waist and stomach, so it's very flattering if you have a little bit of bloating like I often do, because you know, I'm a girl and that happens sometimes during certain times of the month, you get me? And then again, it's just that amazing, stretchy, soft ribbed fabric, which I just spat everywhere. Shock horror, it's another one. Except this one again is that kind of like cow neck, I don't even know if that's the proper term for it. I am in no way like a fashion expert. I just wear what I like to wear. <laughs> but this one is a dark khaki green. I just feel like it suits me a lot. It's kind of hard to tell with this makeup look I'm wearing right now. That was a fail and a half. Imagine it with just like gold eye makeup and nude lips or something or berry lips, you know. Again, it's kind of like ribbed, but this time it's knitted. This will be nice and warm for winter and then you can layer it again. You get me. I'm all about the layering. <laughs> and the last thing I chose out was again another Kim K inspired item. This is a nude kind of skirt and it's got a little cutout as well just there. It's just a really nice color on one side it's like a fabric and then on the other side it's like a pleather. I just feel like it's going to be so flattering and I'm just loving that kind of like knee length skirt look lately. I don't know. So that was everything from White Fox Boutique. Thank you so much to the team at White Fox Boutique. You guys know how much I love you and I love your clothes. So two thumbs up from me. <laughs> Again, I'll put shipping info, um, the coupon code info and their website down below, along with all of the other websites that I purchased from coming up now. So yeah, as I said, I did a whole lot of like homewares and like home decor stuff shopping yeah so the stuff I'm going to show you first was from mod cloth the first thing I got were these amazing oven gloves like <laughs> I am so obsessed with these like holy crap as you can see they look like bare hands or bare paws whatever you want to call them I couldn't resist so totally justified next I got this really cute little box because I have a similar one um, that has all of my like nice necklaces and stuff in it on my dresser in my bedroom and I thought this would be so cute for like little rings or bracelets or anything it just opens up and it's just I don't know like I really like it it's very antique looking I also got this tray which I thought would be really cute to put a couple perfumes in somewhere to display them really pretty um I don't really know what else to say about it it's cool could wear it as a hat if you wanted if you had good balance I also got a panda bowl, which could also be used as a hat if you really wanted to. It comes with two bamboo spoons and then the panda bowl. Yes, this is weird, but I really like it, okay? Like, don't judge me. I also got another wooden spoon and it is a love heart spoon and it says make with love on the handle. I thought it was really, really cute. And I actually needed a new wooden spoon because my last one I accidentally pushed into my Vitamix too far and yep. <laughs> and I also got this... Umbra photo chain photo display set of three and I'm not going to open it up but you can see what it looks like. It's just like three hanging photo frames. I thought it was so cool but I have no idea where I'm going to put them yet so I'll have to find a spot in my house to put them. Me and Hamish have our photos hanging up everywhere like I just love having photos of me and him and our friends. That sounds so bad. Me. I like having photos of me in the house. No seriously but like our friends and Louie and Zeus and family. We've got photos everywhere like I just love to be able to walk around the house and just look at photos randomly as I'm walking around. Reminds me of nice memories so yeah got some photo frames. This is just a really cute little tea light holder so you put the tea light in there and then it sits up like this and I just thought it was so cool. This is my party glass. I am partying now. That's what it says on it. I thought it was really cute like it's a like nice big tumbler glass and then it says lots of like I don't know, maybe that's the person who designed it, Instagram or something, I don't know. I got a pet toy from Mod Cloth. This is so random, it's basically like teeth. I'll do like a little overlay of Louis and Zeus using it, if they do it right. I feel like they're not even going to do it right. What is it? <laughs> Fail. 
Why won't you show me your pretty teeth? It doesn't work. <laughs> I thought it was really cool so I wanted to try it out and my dogs have so many toys they are so spoiled but every time like I have something in plastic they somehow know it's for them and they just like go nuts they'll be like oh my god give it to me now and then the other thing I got off mod cloth are these shot glasses they're mason jar shot glasses we have so many shot glasses in our house I don't know what that says about us like I promise you we're not like hardcore alcoholics or anything but we like to party with our friends but all of a sudden we've just accumulated like a million shot glasses but I really like these ones. They're so cute, little mason jar shots. But to be honest, these look massive. Like, do a shot of something in there and you'll probably die. And then the other stuff I got was from Shop Jean. Shop Jean with two E's. I don't know, I'll link it down below. I got some magnets. Let me show you then. These are um, David and Goliath. There's that one. And then there is Spooning Leads to Forking. That one's a little bit rude. I like this one a lot. And <laughs> this one's cute too best friends. We've got a little bit of a YOLO moment and you rock, you rule. And then the last one is I'm cool, I'm cooler. Yeah, those are my new magnets. If you watched my morning routine like the other day, then you'll know that I like cute magnets. So, yeah, I love Diplo. Um, I also got these and I don't know why, um, but I did. Wasabi candy canes and bacon candy canes. I feel like I'm going to use them in like a food challenge of some kind. I don't want to do it really, but bought them now. And then the other thing is ripped up because my friend John was trying to like thieve them when we were drinking last. He was like, I want these. Like, can we use them right now? I was like, no, I have to hold them first. He does not understand the YouTube life. But yeah, they're adventure time mugs or cups, tumblers, whatever you want to say. This one is my favorite. And then the last thing I got, actually, I got two packs of cards. I also got Sailor Moon cards, but these ones here are My Little Pony just because everyone needs a cute set of cards in case you're bored. I want to look cute. But we've already opened the Sailor Moon cards and we used them like last weekend. They were really fun. So yeah, that is everything I got that took so long. I'm sorry guys. I hope this video wasn't too long for you. If you enjoyed this haul, please give it a thumbs up. I'll put all of the links to everywhere where I shop down below and more information on their shipping and stuff if I can find it. I hope you all have an amazing and safe weekend and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Might just be one of my favorite tutorials I have ever done slash makeup looks I've ever worn. I don't know. You know what I mean. So yeah, this is the completed look. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know which video I should film next. Also, check down below for Chloe's link. She's the one who inspired this look if you missed it at the